Take two. Get it together! Hey, pipe down over there. Today is a very special day. I mean, most days are pretty special, but today is a very special day because we have my very good friend, Katerina Graham, one of the people that I've met in the last few years who really inspires me. At 23 years old, she has been on film, she's on television, she does music, and she's so brilliantly authentic that I think she's one of my perfect little, perfect little experiment. We're doing all 1920s themed, um, very reminiscent of Josephine Baker. In fact, I think we kind of want to do some portraits of her as Josephine Baker. And if you don't know who Josephine Baker is, she was one of the first groundbreaking uh, women of color to be out there. She moved to Paris and became a huge star in the 1920s. She was in film and music, and I think there's a lot of parallels with Josephine and Kat. I remember you, you're the one who made my dreams come true. A few kisses ago. My name is Kat Graham. I've been a friend of Sutan, also known as Raja for many years. Um, we've done like some fun stuff together, but this is cool because people get to kind of see um, how immensely talented he is and how creative he is. And when he asked me to be a part of a uh, makeup tutorial, I just was so flattered and so honored because he's definitely one of the best in the world. I love being I around him you. because You're he really doesn't care what true. other people think. Here we are with my friend Kat. What I want to do is just a very smoldering, kind of wet looking lid, you know, a lot of eyelid, a very high, thin eyebrow, 20s film starlet, flappery, you know, just a very classic look, I think. Yeah. First things first, we're going to do your foundation first, okay. and the skin is one of the most important things to me. Absolutely. So, so I'm just going to put a light layer of more of a diaphanous finish. You know okay. what that means. Yes. Yes. Because, you know, we want, it, we want this to feel like you are in the 20s, but at the same time, keep it very editorial. Oh, yeah. Ah, Get out of that. I think I've got my first layer down. I've got a lot of warmth in her skin, which is great. Now I'm going to highlight and contour the hell out of her. Contouring and highlighting is to, you're basically adding dimension to the face. It's making it feel a little bit more three-dimensional. I really love to highlight around the eyes. It's one of my fetishes in makeup. Like, I can't help yeah. it. I just love it. Are you going to hide them? No, not this time. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna fade them out with foundation. I'm so excited. This is what I love about using the creams. You just make a little stripe like that and then you just keep blending it. It's used a lot in theater actually. This is sort of how I learned how to do makeup was using all creams because I'm using this dark color to contour. You. You. But I'm using this lighter sort of warm color to kind of blend it in. What this kind of does is it just it creates this illusion where like light looks like it's hitting it directly in the middle. All the highlight is just right here, right at the top of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the forehead. So you know, this is the first time I've actually used this palette. My good friends at Makeup Forever. Is this an endorsement? Hey, I'll add a girl. Uh, I want more products in the mail. You know my P.O. box. Like, I love it. I gagged on it. I was like, this is perfect for the woman of color because it's got a lot of warm tones in yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Living. Sometimes with a lot of these colors, like they're either like too yellow yeah. on somebody like me or too red. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm applying some of this black cream all over her lid, trying to keep it pretty even, but if it's not, don't even worry about it. Because what that's going to do is it's just going to lay down a little bit of a gumminess or depth so that when you apply shadow, it really goes on intensely. We're going to do a dark lip to pair it. All right, I'm actually going to use the same black cream, and I'm going to line her lips with it. It's very chola. Really, I'm just using this because I want a lot of depth. I want this to be very dramatic. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the shape of the lips. Now let's go ahead and slather the whole thing in gloss. The liner to clean it all up. Mmm. Mm. Any of the inconsistencies that may have happened with the black cream liner, I really just wanted the intensity of the black cream liner, um, but I knew that the gloss would smooth it all out.
And uh, to sort of finish this off, to kind of take it to that extra level of editorial realness, we're doing a little, tech, a little trompe l'oeil technique. You speak French, don't you? I don't know what trompe l'oeil means. Trompe l'oeil, it's a technique of like creating an illusion. Like when you go into a house and you see a mural of a painted window, and you're oh, like, yeah. wow, look at that painted, oh, it's not a window. It's not a it's window. It's trompe l'oeil, it's an illusion. Oh, so, I see. So we're gonna trompe l'oeil some hair onto the front here and create spit curls all out of paint. Oh my gosh, amazing. Rather, yeah, it's gonna be cool. I remember you, you're the one who made my dreams come true, a few kisses ago. I remember too, you're the one who said I love you too. is through and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all that I shall tell them I remember you, you. 